Hello, my name is Autumn Bryant. I'm a speech language pathologist in the school system and I have created a Google Doc that will allow me to take data on multiple students um, in the same Google Doc and the beautiful thing is it will tabulate the percentages for me. So today I'm going to show you how I use that. The first thing is I am going to enter a sample student's name. So we're going to call this student Lawrence, and then we're going to put his goal as word final er at the word level. Okay, and then you would do the same thing going across for each row for different students' names and for their different goals. If you need more sheets, for example, I've labeled this one date one. I would rename this to the date that I'm recording it. Today is 12-27. 13 um, and I did that by clicking on this arrow here and clicking rename I can also duplicate this tab so now that I have the student's name and goal in there I'm gonna duplicate it and rename that one for the next date that I'm gonna take data and I know that's a Saturday but I'm gonna just call that one 12 28 13 for sample sake and I would repeat that process until I have all the dates that I want so I'm going to go back to this first tab here and I'm going to show you what the data would look like. Now with this sheet, instead of pluses or minuses, for correct responses I'm going to enter a 1. For incorrect, instead of minuses, I'm going to enter a 0. For correct responses that were given after a Q, I would enter the letter Q. Or after a model, I would enter the letter M. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that we still have a tally of correct responses both with and without support. So now I'm going to do a little trial so you can see that in action with my sample student. So student Lawrence, if you would say your word, your word is doctor. And I want you to hear your final er sound. Doctor. Good job. There's a one there. Doctor. Good. Doctor. Um, try that again. Remember to get your lips back and get your tongue back. Da, da. Okay. Remember to get your tongue back. Doctor. Good. Oh, actually, I'm going to put that one as a cue because I gave him a little reminder there before he did it. Okay. Again. Doctor. 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 Okay. Like mine. Listen to me. Doctor. Doctor. Oh, and that one, I'm actually going to put an M because I modeled it for him. Okay, and let's um, look down at our percentages now. So if I scroll down, I can see that there were a total, and I've frozen the columns and the rows so that now we can see the student's name up here with the tallies down here, and that's the only thing we have on our screen. He had a total of four correct productions, one modeled, one cued, three incorrect. Um, if I count the model and the cues as correct, then there were a total of six correct productions out of nine trials, which gives him a total percent correct of 66% correct, but a uh, percent independently correct of 44%. This is very handy. I've done this for up to um, 25 trials. So if we were to act like we just kept going there, I'm going to add more numbers. I'm going to pretend like he got some more correct and then needed another model and then got some more correct and then a couple wrong and needed a cue, and then some more correct, and we can see how the percentage has changed. Now he has 25 trials that he's done, um, with 14 of them being independently correct, two models, two cues, seven total incorrect. So now his percentage correct has a total of 72%, and percentage independently correct has changed to 56%. And I didn't have to do any math. So that's the revolutionary part. For those of you who don't like to sit there and take out the calculator or take out the pencil and paper and try and figure it out, it's done for you. So time saving, so easy. So I'm going to put this in my Teachers Pay Teacher store and I will include the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much. If you like this video and would like more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos and follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash speech language investigator. Thank you.